Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is by Hashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, which means He is the Deliverer, which is the only begotten Son sent for the nation of Israel. All right. Uh, by Hashem, which means in the name of Rechak Kudash, which means the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. And uh, Shalom Labaquarium, which means peace to the elect or peace to the chosen or peace to those that are been slated to be delivered in these last days and in fact the elect okay starting with the 144,000 because that is the governing body those are the judges okay the future judges of the planet earth and they are establishing their judgment and their rulership on earth today by going out on the highways and the hedges in season out of season um you know throughout the elements and just you know doing what's committed unto them all right or doing what's been issued out unto them, you know. Uh, I'm gonna start with the scriptures, Luke 17 and 7. But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say, which will say unto him by and by, when he is come from to from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me till I have eaten and drunken. And afterward thou shalt eat and drink Okay I made a statement in one of my prior videos I said we didn't come to America To uh, to eat dessert Meaning what We supposed to eat For nutrition <laughs> You know eat for nutrition Eat to be satisfied and that's that Not looking for excess You know although America is all about excess And it's easy to get into excess That's not why we're, why we're here Okay America, the name America, first and foremost, goes back to a Hebrew word, uh, mara, okay, which means bitter, okay, or I'm sorry, amar, amar, which means bitter, right, and this bitter place was established for the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to serve slavery, which you are the so-called, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, by prophecy, by the curses, which tie into prophecy, okay, by the promise, by bloodline, okay? And we were brought here to serve slavery, first and foremost, to serve out and to pay for our punishment, you know, that was bestowed upon us by the Heavenly Father for the iniquity that we committed in our past lives, so you can understand, okay? Because reincarnation is a, is a, a such thing according to the Bible. All right, not as if you go into, you know, the body of a caterpillar or you go and you die and come back and become a monkey. No, the scriptures don't tell you that. The scripture says all flesh is consorted unto its like. All right, meaning a, a, a human spirit, a male, is going to come back as a human spirit, a male, okay, and be in a human male body. All right, but the point of the matter is, is that we were sent and put forth in these. Uh, prison In this prison In these um, in these bodies Okay In these chains of darkness To serve out slavery Okay And continuing on It says do ye think Do he think that servant Because he did the things That were commanded him I trow not So likewise ye When ye shall Have done all these things which are commanded you say we are unprofitable servants we have done that which is our duty to do right and just like when you see someone that goes into uh, prison you have some people in prison that become what's called trustees and trustees you know they don't be leave prison after they're done with their work no they go back to their cell just like prisoners Okay, although they are trustees, they go back as unprofitable servants, meaning what? They can be replaced. All right, now I'm going to go into this word unprofitable. Okay. Now the word there for unprofitable, I'm going to play it in the Greek.
And as you can see, it means useless, good for nothing. Okay. Now that reminds me of a scripture. Okay. And I'm doing this on the fly. Okay. Which is Luke, I believe is the third chapter and I believe it's the 48th verse, but I'm just going to put it in. And John the Baptist says what? Yeah, Luke 3 and 8. I'm sorry. This is Luke chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Right? Because the Most High don't need you, man. Okay? The Most High doesn't need any one of us. The Most High can raise up stones if he wanted to, to do his bidding, to do his work. Okay? But now, what he has done, he has raised up lively stones to do his bidding, to do his work. The Most High uh, uh, wants workers. The Most High uses instruments. Okay? The Most High uses vessels to do his work. That's why it's very important to remain humble. Okay? Or if not, the Most High will humble you. Okay, and, 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 and it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing to be humbled in the sight of the eyes of, of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the sight of men. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. Why? Because that's the uh, 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 show of sign that you are one of his, okay? Accepting in the chastening. Why? Because again, we're unprofitable servants, we're useless. So if the most high chastens you, that means he has a use for you. If the most high purges you. That means he has a use for you. Okay? All right? So, I'm going to go back to that last scripture I read. I'm going to go back to it again read it. Luke chapter 17, verse 10. So, likewise, ye, when ye have done all those things which are commanded you. Right. What are the things that are commanded of us? To feed the flock. To feed the sheep. Hey, Paul said what? He committed his conscience no, he committed his mind toward the conscience of the elect. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. It's in 2 Corinthians. Okay. Right. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. I'll start at 1. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, right? And also, too, Paul talked about a dispensation. A dispensation is a, another word for dis, dispensation is uh, the root of it is dispense. And a dispense, like you can go to a dispensary, you, you know, we put in a dollar, whatever, how much it costs nowadays to buy a soda. Okay, you put a dollar, dollar fifty, whatever the case is, and it, it dispenses a soda. You know, when you put your dollar, dollar fifty in, you expect to get something back. And that's what the Most High is, how the Most High is using us, the, men, the hopeful elect. Okay? He put, he told, he gave us commandment. He expects us to do it. All right? Now, this is, uh, it says we have a ministry. Now, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, let's look at the word ministry. Because a lot of people that deal in the Christian church don't know what that word means. Okay? The word minister or ministry basically means, okay, we know it. It means a service, ministering. Especially of those who execute the, the commands of others. Okay? And that's what we are. We're the ministers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, of those who, by the commandment of the Most High, proclaim and promote religion among men, which the word religion means to bind, which we are bound. Okay? We're bound in the hope of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And within that boundary, if you will, or, or within that binding, Okay, there's work to be done. Okay, the scriptures tell you what it says. Um, uh, uh, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray for more laborers. The Most High wants laborers. The Most High wants workers. Unprofitable servants, man. Okay. All right, and that's it on the de definition of the ministry. Okay. It says, and we have received mercy, and that's very important in this truth to understand that the only way that we're able to do the bidding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is through his mercy, through his grace. It says, we faint not, and the mercy, that's what keeps us upheld, 
Okay, that's what's that what that is what keeps us spiritually erect. All right. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully, right? Because that's a sense of pride when you handle the word of the most high deceitfully, thinking that's of you. It says, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves. Let's look up that word commending. Typically, the word commending, if I'm not mistaken, which means a bidding. You've been bidded to, to do something. To place together, to set in the same place, to bring or band together. You see? To stand with, to set one with another. Okay? So the, the Apostle Paul said he, he said what? It says, by the manifestation of the truth commending ourselves okay the uh, paul said he binded himself with the other elect to every man's conscience in the sight of the most high so paul dedicated his life to the mind okay because when you look up the word conscience it's conscience if you will that's how i knew how to spell it okay when you you know when you watch them spelling bees they ask you know if they don't know how to spell a certain word you know those little uh uh uh, you know, sometimes it's elementary students or middle school students and there's a spelling bee and they ask the person how to spell the word. They say, and they, they don't know how to spell it. They'll ask for the definition. Why? Because the definition will tell you how to uh, spell the word. So when you break down that word, conscience is conscience, with science or with the knowledge. All right, so let's go into the Greek. The conscience of anything, the soul at Distinguishing between what is morally good and bad, prompting to do the former and shun the latter, commending one, condemning the other. The conscience. Okay, let's look up the word conscience. Let's look it up. Definition. It says an inner feeling or voice viewed as acting as a guide to the righteousness or wrongness of one's behavior. He had a guilty conscience about, you know, and that, that can happen. You know, that's the spirit working within you, man. All right. And, and that's, again, going back to having that humility and being humble and understanding that you're a vessel and the spirit, the Holy Spirit works through you. OK, we don't need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. No, excuse me. Salakia, y'all watch me. shy. The Holy Spirit doesn't need us. We need the Holy Spirit. OK, just like I did a, a little segment on, you know, I did. I spoke briefly on the stones. You know, the different elements on the earth. Okay? Remember, the earth was uh, 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 created for Israel's sake. Okay? Uh, the land was created for the people's sake, not the people for the land's sake. So it's the same concept. Aren't we not... Uh, uh, um, aren't we not clay? Aren't, aren't we not earthen vessels, like the scriptures say? Okay? So we're um, we, 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 hey man, the scripture does say that some shall stand here not taste of death in these last days in the regeneration. Nevertheless, there are those that taste of death, and guess what? That dust, that earthen vessel, goes back into the dirt, goes back into the dirt in which it came, and the spirit goes back to the Father, man. All right, but the point of the matter is. Is that, hey man, we're unprofitable service We have nothing to boast or brag about, man Everything that we do, we praise uh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai And that should be our mindset Moving in this in this earth, man Especially here in Babylon And throughout the four corners of the earth are the men that are battling the elements I'm mean, not the elements The elements, okay Battling these evil thoughts These wicked thoughts That try to put you to say that you don't need that. Hey, the brother, who did that, man? Oh, man, it was a brother. Oh, oh, yeah. The brothers of uh, the Wamba, he reposted a video. I highly recommend it. It's on GMS Orlando 2. And the brother said, basically, hey, man, that was a bad video, man. The brother said, basically, we are replaying the garden over and over, man. That was heavy, man. Why? Because you got the woman that you want to deal with, but she be out of order. And you got Satan in her ear and Satan working through her to get to try to get on you, you know, and essentially what was Adam's fall in the garden thinking that 
Adam and Eve's fall in the garden Well, Eve first because the scripture says what that Eve was the and the transgression right but was what, what was it to say that you didn't they didn't need the most high man and that's what Satan is playing out right now with the RFID chip with these different smartphones and these computers and like you don't you don't need the most high no more man you know that's what he, that's what Esau is saying man He's acting out his blessing from the garden, man, if you will. Or he's acting out what he said in the garden, I should say. All right? He's trying to get Jake to follow that shit, man. But the only ones that are going to understand that they're, that they're just, that they're earthen vessels, that they're unprofitable servants, that they're truly useless, is the, starting with the 144,000 and the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, just keep in mind, man, I'll just say this real quick. The scriptures tell you what. Let me go to it. I'm going to close off with this properly. There's a probability that I'll close off with this scripture. This is uh, Sirach chapter 20, verse 1. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. Right. So in the midst of humility, just admit that what you did wrong. And you'll be preserved in that last day, man. Because the Most High is sending Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is sending Yahweh Shai to do some hurt on the earth to all those that are proud, man. Fuck. Oh, I'm going to get that scripture. Give me one second. He said, how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shalt thou escape willful sin. The water of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Now, the scripture I want to get. It says intemperance. Yep. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 7. Yeah, second Ezra chapter seven verse forty one. Even so, now seeing corruption is grown, right? Especially being in these bodies, okay, which which represents corruption. The more and more we in these bodies, the more and more these uh, we're susceptible to do things of the flesh, and wickedness is increased. And righteousness have prayed for the ungodly. Wherefore shall it not be so? Now also, he answered me and said. This present life is not the end where much glory doeth abide. Therefore, have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality. That's right, brothers. Amen. The elect is immortals, man. Through, the, through that Holy Spirit. Okay? By casting off mortal thoughts. Okay? And it's a struggle, man. I know it's a struggle. You know, but that's why it's important to continue into prayer. Paul talked about praying continually, which is another form of humility, man. That's what the Most High wants. The Most High wants a broken and contrite spirit. It says, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past, right? Because these bodies are going to go. And temperance is at an end, meaning what? Not being balanced. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. And that's the point, man. Because intemperance, unbalanced, this unbalanced world is about to do it, be done away with, man. When you got fat, black, nasty nigga women that are proud as hell with dirty ass houses. Even you got some fine ass black woman with mad dishes in their sink. Proud as hell, man. You got Jake that's out here in these mortal in this mortal flesh, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men that are proud as hell, man. And all that shit is about to be done away with, man. But hey, man, the water you how about Shimia Shad that we've been reproved, that we've been corrected, that we've been brought down to you to be humbled, man. It's a beautiful thing to be humbled, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said that. We are unprofit. He said, why callest thou me good? Okay? And that's the that should be the mindset of the of the elect. That is the mindset of the elect. And you want to pray to Yahweh Shah to keep you within that capacity, man. 
keep, pray to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to keep you with, within the capacity to always keep you humble. The water Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, Bashim, which is the name in the name, Yahweh Shai. He is the deliverer, okay, who's sent to instruct the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel. Bashim Rakak with Dash was the name of the Holy Spirit. You know, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Shalawam, Labaquayim, which means peace to the chosen. Okay, because the elect is going to get peace in these last days, although the elect is warring with this flesh. All right, Shalawam.